USB Type-C version 1.0 was published by the developer forum in August 2014. It was also developed at the same time as the USB 3.1 specification. USB Type-C connectors can be found on peripheral devices and computers. USB Type-C is a new generation compared to Type-A and Type-B connectors and cables from previous USB standards. Unlike previous versions, the USB-C connector is horizontally symmetrical and can be connected to a device on either side. Lightning appeared slightly earlier and was first introduced during Apple's special event on September 12, 2012. As many know, Lightning is used only in Apple devices. When looking at the comparison table of Lightning and USB-C, it becomes evident that USB-C has much better characteristics, such as charging power and data transfer speed. But then the question arises, why doesn't Apple switch to USB-C? The main reason is that Apple would lose a portion of its revenue. Since Apple earns a substantial profit from selling its cables, especially after excluding chargers from the iPhone package, switching to USB-C would mean users would start purchasing USB-C cables from third-party manufacturers, significantly impacting Apple's profits. Despite this, the European Union, to improve the convenience of its citizens, has mandated Apple to switch to using only USB Type-C in their devices by 2024. Let's move on to the comparison. The first differences we can immediately notice are visual. USB-C has a symmetrical connector, is universal, and is used in many modern devices. At the same time, Lightning is also symmetrical, but slightly smaller in size compared to USB-C, and, as mentioned earlier, is only used in Apple devices. Next is data transfer speed. For USB Type-C, it depends on the specific version of the cable. If we take the latest version, it's USB 3.2 Gen 1x1. This version supports data transfer speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second and corresponds to the previous USB 3.0 version. It supports video signal transmission with a resolution of up to 4K at a refresh rate of up to 60 Hz. Lightning, meanwhile, has a data transfer speed of up to 4.8 gigabits per second, supports video and audio transmission, and power delivery of up to 12 watts. The next equally important factor is charging speed. USB Type-C can provide power of up to 240 watts. At the same time, Lightning cannot boast such power and falls short compared to USB Type-C. When purchasing a new cable, we want it to last as long as possible. Therefore, when choosing a cable, durability is worth considering. USB Type-C has a structure with contacts located inside, while the Lightning cable has external contacts. Because of this, it might seem that USB Type-C is more resistant to wear and tear. But in practice, this is not the case. Both cables have relatively similar durability and strength. It is also worth noting that the USB Type-C standard can be manufactured by any producer. In the near future, this will happen, which could lead to one thing. Serious competition among manufacturers will emerge in the market. As a result, product prices will start to fall, and it can be concluded that the price of the USB Type-C standard will decrease year by year. To summarize, the Lightning standard was a breakthrough in its time and was considered the best standard in the world. But today, we have USB Type-C, which represents the future. It offers higher data transfer speeds and excellent power delivery, allowing devices to charge faster. Additionally, its versatility makes it the standard used by many devices, such as Android phones, desktop computers, gaming consoles like the Xbox Series X, and even some iPads and the iPhone 15.